Tells them, what's up, Sussex Squad? Listen, I'm back. Did you miss me? The green screen is, it, listen, we're going to be mixing it up. Y'all going to see a little glimpse into um, my everyday because we got to talk. Y'all, Megan really has done it this time. And baby, I mean in a good way. WME has hinted at what Megan is up to. And baby, this seems like a deal like no other. This feels like a multi-million dollar winner. Are y'all ready for this? Megan is about to become the next producing powerhouse. Start in the uh, footsteps of Brad Pitt and Reese Witherspoon. If you guys don't know, Reese built a multi-billion dollar empire. Brad Pitt, I think it was Plan B or whatever, basically made him a uber, 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 uber rich man by doing just what Megan's plan to do. And you know what? I'll say one thing about, and this must make the royal family so mad about Meghan Markle. Every single time they count, here's the problem. They don't got the vision. They don't have the vision. All Kate and William can do is sit there and play copycat, but they don't even know what to copycat, where to go, who to watch. Baby, they didn't have the vision. Megan is a creative. Megan has vision. Megan is smart. No matter how many times Megan might take an L, and don't get me wrong, it's natural in life to take L's. Nobody is a winner 100% of the time. The more you fail, the more you succeed. That just is what it is. Megan just has a high ratio of failure to success, so much so that we get shocked whenever something might not be a home run. Y'all listen to this, right? <sighs> Megan and um, uh, Harry just bought the rights of a super, super popular book. Now, let me explain how this is going to be interesting, because this could be cool if Megan gets into her Reese Witherspoon bag. You know how Reese Witherspoon, um, she has turned into a powerhouse producer by greenlighting her best-selling book club selections into TV shows and movies, and they have all become hits. It is the biggest and the best focus group that you can ever have and the biggest and best focus group that you can ever be a part of y'all let's get into this listen how the book bought by harry and megan for three million film rights bears a striking resemblance to their own lives including a mother who died in a car crash female delves into meet me at the lake by canadian author carly fortune okay right they, now, she did say that they bought it for $3 million for a Netflix adaptation and is a fan of Meghan and Harry. And it was left in tears as she saw their wedding on TV after waking up at 4 a.m. to watch it. I know that's right. Dreams do come true. They said it's Prince Harry and Meghan Markle reportedly pan a production of Canadian novelist Collie Fortune's romance novel, Meet Me at the Lake. They're said to have be captivated by the plot. It's a New York Times bestselling author. Fortran's um, second novel is a romance about two long lost lovers, Will and Fern, whose paths crossed by chance a decade after the first meeting and sparks fly between the pair. An insider has told The Sun that the Sussexes, who bought the rights to the book for an estimated three million, were interested in the novel due to the themes it explores. The themes of the book grip the couple and it's chosen for the first adaptation on Netflix. The plot, the plot sees the two main characters grapple with the grief, complicated family situations, and an unexpected love story. All of which may resonate with the Sussex in their own. How? Anywho, how are they bonded by grief? I mean, they were, but that happened years ago. It's set in Toronto, right? A single girl summer is the thing. Um... What do you mean you haven't Googled him? So basically, after Will appears in Fern's life 10 years after they first met, she battles with her romantic feelings towards him after he broke his heart. So there's a person, president. Okay, listen, enough of all that. Let's get into this. Yeah, 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 yeah. They can point to um, a million similarities, but here's the one thing that they can't point to and the one thing that's so brilliant. This is how Reese Witherspoon became a... Um, a powerhouse. Now, where's the book club coming from? If you guys don't know, remember when Megan did that secret a while back and she said she did an interview a while back and she's like, listen, 
I want to let you know a little secret. I'm starting my Instagram again. And all the people on Salty Island rolled their eyes and was like, there goes Megan being cutesy. And I'm not going to lie. I rolled my eyes too. Like, Megan, just give us the juice, right? You know I'm impatient. Anyway, think about it. Megan is reviving her Instagram. She had the handle as Megan. She still has a TIG trademark. We don't know she'll bring back the TIG. But one thing we do know is she wants to... St- uh, turn it into lifestyle. She doesn't just want like vitamins and uh, turmeric lattes and berberine and all this stuff. I mean, don't get me wrong. All that stuff is cool. But Megan sees a broader vision. Megan wants to do something that is also book clubbish like Oprah. She wants to recommend things. She wants to create a tribe. But you guys, you know what's so brilliant about that and also so authentic? Megan wants to create a tribe. Okay, great. But you know with that, it is an automatic focus group. If you have book clubs and you see people are really into it, if you see the themes, if you look at New York Best Time Sellers, but you see how they really resonate with your core audience, your followers, and people that are into the same thing your followers are, well, what does that mean? It's a built-in focus group for scripts and novel, well, novels to buy and scripts to green light. On top of that, her social media presence will help promote it. Megan has really, she's looking into something 360, even bring her Instagram back. So when she does have sponsorships and deals, it's not just pictures of her wearing a Cartier bracelet at dinner. She will actually be able to put Cartier ads up on her Instagram. Megan is coming back with a bag and baby, the palace is mad. They didn't see this coming. See, here's the thing. They thought Megan and Harry were going to be sitting there because they're so stupid and they have no creativity. And I'm not talking about Will and Kate. I'm talking about the Will people Will and Kate pay to be creative. But of course, a creative person, a non-creative person, can they hire a creative person? Like, do they really know? They really thought that Megan and Harry are going to be sitting there saying, hmm. Let's brainstorm. What can we make a movie about? I don't know. What do you have any ideas? They really thought that Megan and Harry were just out of ideas, didn't know what to do, had like a hundred million from Netflix and was like, oh, oh no. Now they expect us to come through. They really thought this was William and the Earthshot Prize. The way William has umpteen million dollars and sitting there with his bald head shining in the sun talking about some, hmm, like Homer Simpson would. The fact that the British media were so cocky, so arrogant, so stupid as to believe that Meghan and Harry walked into Netflix, which is an American company, and the biggest audience is in America. I'm not saying they don't care about British audiences, but they're trying to get American audiences even with bigger British shows. We are the industry leader. We are, what, 380 million strong as opposed to what? 60 million? Come on now, right? 60 million for Great Britain, 380 million. When it comes to um, uh, uh, an audience, when it comes to what you want, I mean, come on, what audience would you want to have? They really thought with their arrogance and their hubris and the British royal family that Harry and Meghan walked in. Everybody in Netflix was like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Prince Harry's here, Prince Harry's the royal family. He knows Prince Charles. He knows Prince William. He, they talked to Kate. Oh my God, bring them in. Um, So what's Kate's favorite scone flavor? Does William really like trimming rose bushes? They really thought all that mess was going down. They thought those fools walked into Netflix said, hi, we'd like a hundred million. And the Netflix office, without vetting any ideas, getting any pitches, truly getting a business plan, gave Harry and Meghan a hundred million dollars to play with just because Harry happens to be the son of a king in a foreign nation that 98% of America doesn't give a hoo-ha, what about the arrogance, the entitlement, the hubris, Again, I'm really enthused to see the direction Meghan and Harry are going. But it lets you know how tight Netflix is keeping things. It lets you know how short-sighted the British royal family is that they didn't see this coming. And what didn't they see coming? That Meghan and Harry actually have an an eye for business. That Meghan and Harry are not a one-hit wonder. That Meghan and Harry left the Spotify deal on their own accord. Again... I do think Meghan and Harry need to push back a lot on this negative press, but again, we can agree to disagree. 
I will say one thing. Megan and Harry haven't pulled a rabbit out of the hat. The rabbit was always there, baby. They are giving us a whole magic show. And it's so good and funny and humbling. And I know they're mad to put the royal family in their place and say, baby, you didn't make we. You didn't make me. I mean, you might have made Harry. But baby, I made him into a man. You gave him birth. I made him into, his mama gave birth to him. I made him into a man. I helped him reach that. But also Megan's looking at the royal family. Hey, baby, you don't run nothing. You didn't make us. And the arrogance that you think that we got that hundred million without real pitches, real direction, real creativity, something above that. And the fact that they thought their name by association was worth a hundred million dollars. Baby, y'all been hanging around Prince Andrew too long. And baby, that only worked with Jeffrey Epstein. And that's because I don't think they were selling movie scripts. If you know what I am saying, y'all. Put your hands together. Megan and Harry have announced their first project. It is greenlit. As soon as I guess the writer acting guild is over. Actually, are they going to be filming in? No, Netflix is America. Actually, wait, this might be the perfect time to film because if they actually film this overseas, I think it is set in Canada. It might be exempt from the writer, the screen actors guild. Megan's not an actress anymore. She's not an actress anymore, right? I don't think she's writing this. So if they get foreign actors and foreign writers, I don't think Megan will be a scab and cross the, uh, the picket lines. But if they do, do you know how amazing it would be? Do you know how amazing it'll be if they have product out while everybody else is just sitting there twiddling their thumbs? Y'all, the Royals are mad. The Royals are mad because they just got checked. Nothing aside from you people being monsters, it looked like had anything to do with Harry and Meghan's deal. Harry and Meghan got that deal because baby, they truly were the best for it. Anyway, my little tattletales, let me know what you think in the comments. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.